Uh, well, let's uh, go into your stock picks uh, for today, gents. Willem, what are you choosing? Uh, I'm choosing Omnia, the chemicals and mining business. I think they have a very good management team, which over the last two, three years had a, an, an excellent track record. Uh, they were definitely exposed to the mining cycle, which is maybe something we sort of just said we're sort of concerned about in terms of sort of iron ore and coal, but to much sort of much broader commodity base, as well as the fact that they're not linked to the commodity price, then they're linked to the producer's sort of output costs, which generally slow sort of in a much less volatile fashion than, than peer play miners. And then there's sort of a, a real interesting catalyst. There's a, a company called Hypox Bio, which is a Swedish explosive company, which is cleaner, safer, quicker, which is sort of a coming on board and, and, and has real potential to boost earnings. Uh, with all that said, it's trading at sort of a seven to eight times forward PE, and they paid this year also about 10% in dividends. So I think that's sort of a golden ratio. If the dividend yield is higher than the P ratio, it's a very simple sort of protection in terms of the downside. And then there's lots of catalysts for the upside. Uh, all right. JP, what are you choosing? My stock pick is a U.S. listed company, Booking Holdings, and uh, they own the platform Booking.com and a few other smaller platforms like Kayak and OpenTable and Agoda. But Booking.com is the major money spinner for them. And I would hope that any viewers who have ever wanted to book a hotel or accommodation, especially in a far off city or town, have decided to go to Booking.com because it is the world's dominant a tourist and travel booking platform for accommodation. And uh, being the dominant platform, it means that after COVID, they went through a tough time with people not traveling. Uh, that has come back with a vengeance. People are traveling again. Uh, a lot of businesses or, or rather cities around the world are more negative about Airbnb because they don't like the, the short term rentals that pushes up property prices. Uh, and that could also, in a sort of roundabout way, benefit Booking.com, which is more hotels focused than uh, individual accommodation as Airbnb is. Very good cash flows, very good management. And as long as people will move around and travel, they're going to book stuff. And if they book stuff, they're going to go to a platform like Booking.com. So if they can keep their dominance, I think it's a, it's a shade putting your bottom drawer and you can do it well over the long term. Well, you've got me wanting to spend my money that I don't have. Thank you so much for your time, gents. We really appreciate the insights today. That's uh, all for tonight's Stock Watch. Thanks to our guests, uh, Willem Oldervacher from Nitrogen Fund Managers and Jean-Pierre Frister from Protea Capital Management. Up next, the close. Stay tuned. <laughs>